Season's greetings everyone. While we are enjoying the holiday, let's learn how to create an adjustable fountain family in Autodex Revit. So if you haven't done so, make this the video you subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to share with your friends. While doing so, also join the notification squad by hitting the notification bell. With that out of the way, let's go. Alright, so now we're in the Revit interface to create an adjustable fountain. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this family's panel over here. Then we're going to click on new. So under this new, we're going to go under English metric. So once we enter English metric, metric we are going to look for metric generic model which is this and we're just going to click ok so now we've opened it we are now going to create some reference planes to do that we are going to type rp on our keyboard and that is the shortcut for reference planes and we're going to draw a reference plane here we're going to draw another one here we're also going to draw one here we're also going to draw another one here okay okay let me make sure it's straight and draw another one here all right so now we have drawn all of them we're going to go to annotate we're going to go to aligned then we're going to dimension all the uh, reference planes on this line then we're going to dimension all on this axis as well we're also going to give them an overall dimension from here to here we're also going to do it from here to here okay so now we are done with this dimension we're going to click on this dimension we're going to click on this equal icon here then once we click on it we're also going to do the same for this region here we're going to click on it and we're going to click on this equal icon here all right so now what we're going to do we're going to click on this overall dimension we're going to go over to this tab here and we're going to go to create parameter in under this parameter we're going to call this the width okay then we're going to click okay we're also going to do the same for this we're going to click on this we're going to create parameter we're going to call this the height all right so now we have created these two parameters we're going to start creating the model proper so we're going to go to create we're going to start from extrusion we're going to click on extrusion so before we start working on this extrusion we're going to set some parameters i want the height of this fountain wall to be 300 millimeter then i'm going to assign a material to do that i'm just going to click on this tab here once i click on it i'm going to right click on this uh, material here i'm going to click on duplicate under this duplicate i'm now going to name this 01 uh, ceramic tiles okay so then i'm going to assign a material to it i'm going to go to assign i'm going to go to appearance i'm just going to look for a nice styling material okay let's go under this this mosaic blue and we're just going to click apply and we're going to click okay graphics we're going to make sure the graphics is corresponding then i'm just going to make sure i check this use render appearance i'm going to click apply and i'm going to click okay and i'm going to click okay okay so now that is done we're just going to draw our box so we're going to draw a box here first so now we have drawn this box we are just going to click on this offset tool and we're going to be offsetting 225 on each of these sides so i'm going to offset here offset here offset here offset then i'm just going to use this trim tool to trim everything together okay so now this is done i'm going to go to dimensions again i'm going to go to annotate i'm going to go to align then i'm going to click on this reference plane and dimension here then I'm going to lock it in place. I'm also going to click on this reference plane here, dimension here, and I'm going to lock this dimension in place. I'm going to click on this reference plane, dimension here, and I'm going to lock it in place. I'm also going to click on this dimension, this point, and I'm going to make sure I lock it in place. So now I'm going to click on finish. Okay, so now we are going to create the fountain floor. To do that, we are going to go to create, we are going to go to extrusion. So under this extrusion, we're just going to draw our shape here. We're just going to draw a box so now once we've drawn the box we're going to set the thickness of the floor let's use um, 75 then well, i'm just going to click on dimension again i'm going to click on annotate click on dimension and i make sure i chain it to this reference plane once again just like i did in the in the previous extrusion okay so now this is done i'm going to click on finish all right so now i want to create the water of the pool so to do that i'm going to go to extrusion again create i'm going to go to extrusion so instead of making it 0 to 75 i'm going to make it 75 so it will be above the floor and i'm going to make it um, the top offset to be at 275 that is just below the ceramic wall so i'm going to click on material i'm going to click on right click and click on duplicate then i'm going to name this 01 pool water then I'm just going to try and assign a material under the material library. I'm going to go to appearance. I'm going to go to site under liquids. I'm going to look for liquids under liquids. I'm just going to go and click on indoor pool. Then I'm going to go to graphics and make sure the materials is corresponding. Then I'm going to click OK. All right. So now I'm just going to draw this box here and I'm going to draw this and draw this here. So as usual, I'm going to go to annotate and I'm going to be using dimensions to lock it to this reference plane. So I'm going to click on this lock it. 
I'm going to dimension here too. I'm also going to dimension here, dimension here. I'm going to lock it in place. I'm going to dimension here, dimension here, and I'm going to lock it in place. So now I'm done with this dimension and I've locked it in place. I'm going to create a triangle, a star in the middle. So I'm just going to draw a line of 900 millimeter to this point. I'm just going to incline it at 75 degrees. I'm going to repeat the same just to create a star in the middle. That is part of the design for this fountain. Then once I create this, I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to click on finish. Okay, so now we've done this, we are going to be creating some main fountain components. To do that, we are going to go to create, we are going to go to extrusion. So now this part I want to create, I'm not going to be locking it to the reference plane, it's going to be the static part of the fountain. So now I'm just going to click on this to create the top of the fountain. So now um, instead of setting it, I'm going to create the start point at zero and I'm going to change the extrusion end at, let's use... 700 uh, let's use 750 okay so now i'm going to change the material i'm going to be changing it back to ceramic tile i might click on duplicate just to make it a different kind of ceramic tile so i'm going to name this ceramic tile too then i'm going to assign a material to it then i'm just going to look for a different styling material let me just use this then i'm going to go to gonda graphics and click apply and click OK. OK, so now we have done this. We are going to do some design on this. So now, firstly, I'm going to draw a circle from this point. The circle will be about 300 millimeter radius. Or let me use 250. I'm just going to click on the circle, make it 250. All right. So now I'm also going to draw some lines here. I'm going to draw a line here. I'm going to draw another line here. Then I'm going to use the offset tool to offset 50 millimeter from the line just to create some greenery for this then i'm just going to use the trim tool to trim these parts together then trim this as well trim here all right so now i'm just going to click on tab to select this loop of lines i'm going to click on tab select all of them then i'm going to click on this mirror tool i'm going to pick this axis i'm also going to click on tab again hold control to select both of them i'm going to click on this mirror to pick axis and i'm just going to pick it and i'm going to mirror it here okay so now this is done i'm just going to click on these two lines and i'm going to delete them so now before i conclude this i want to create more space in here because i want a water outlet to flow to this font then i'm just going to click on offset again offset here control once i click on offset i'm going to make sure i uncheck this copy then i'm just going to move this adjust this move this adjust this offset here offset here offset here offset here then i'm just going to click on finish okay so now this is done we are going to create some greenery and some water components in this fountain center point so i'm going to go to create i'm going to go to extrusion so under this extrusion i'm going to select the height of the extrusion let's say i'm going to set it at um, 745 okay then i'm going to assign a material to it i'm going to make sure it's pool water because i want water to be sprouting from this center point then i'm just going to click on this and pick these two lines here okay then i'm going to click on finish in the same fashion i'm going to go to create again i'm going to create extrusion then i'm going to use the same height the only thing is i'm going to change the material instead i'm going to be putting greenery so let me just select these lines here to fill in this box to um, select this create this profile then once i'm done with that i'm just going to go to this material editor i'm going to go to right click i'm going to duplicate and i'm going to call this greenery then i'm just going to click on this material library to access the material library i'm going to go to access i'm going to go to site work then i'm just going to select this green area i'm going to click apply okay and i'm going to click finish all right so now we want to do some more work i want to do some void forms to create a pathway for this fountain so i'm going to go to create i'm going to go to void forms i'm going to go to void extrusion then i'm going to click on set i'm going to click on pick a plane and i'm going to pick the top of this extrusion we created so now i've picked it i'm just going to draw a line here and i'm going to offset 50 millimeter from that line i'm going to click on this offset i'm going to check this copy i'm going to copy this and copy this then i'm going to pick this line here and i'm also going to pick these two lines here then i'm just going to trim them so i'm going to click on this trim button trim here trim here i'm going to click here trim here trim here all right so now i'm going to delete this line in the middle then i'm just going to simply mirror this i'm going to mirror this one at i'm going to click on this mirror draw axis and i'm going to click from this center point and mirror it at 45 degrees so it will mirror perpendicular so i'm going to select both of them and do the same thing again from this point 45 degrees and it's going to mirror perpendicular then i'm going to set the depth of this void form to be 25 millimeters and i'm going to click finish 
all right so we're almost done if we go to 3d view and we just click on shaded click on this graphics display option and change it to shaded you are going to see the amazing work we've done but we are not yet completely done yet so now we are going to create the flow of the fountain a uh, like moving water to do that we are going to go to create we are going to go to sweep on that sweep we are going to click on sketch part we are not going to click on set we are going to click on set a plane so we are going to click on set and i'm going to pick work plane then we're going to pick and we're just going to pick here so now we're going to go back to the floor plan which is this reference level and we're just going to click on this and sketch a straight line from this point to this point okay then i'm going to click on finish then i'm just going to go to edit profile and they are going to ask me where i want to edit the profile i'm going to click on 3d i'm going to click on open view then once i click on open view i'm just going to rotate it to this thing. then i'm going to go to this graphics display option and i'm going to change it to wireframe so i could see all the lines and edges so i'm just going to pick a line from here i'm going to pick to this point then i'm going to use this um, arc line to just create an arc and just create a wavy format to indicate like a flowing water then i'm just going to go here and i'm going to go over to this point then just create a circle at this tip here okay so now i'm just going to be clicking on offset and i'm going to be offsetting this at 20 millimeters so i'm just going to be clicking this offset to offset here offset this line offset this line offset this line then i'm just going to use this line here create an arc to close this loop okay which is good then i'm going to also use a line here and close this loop okay so now i'm going to assign a material to this the material i'm going to assign is instead of just normal pool water i'm just going to duplicate it and assign a flowing water so i'm going to right click i'm going to click on duplicate all right so we're going to click on this ceramic task we're going to right click we're going to click on duplicate material then i'm just going to name this flowing water all right so now we've named this flowing water we're just going to click on this to assign a new material we're going to go to appearance we're going to go to liquid then we're going to change this to water clear okay now it has apply i'm going to click on apply i'm going to click ok then i'm going to click on finish and i'm going to click finish so now we are we could go back to this graphics display option and we could change this box to shaded okay so now if we look at this we're going to see what we've done and the good work we've done okay so we're going to go back to this reference level we're going to click on this sweep we just created we're going to click on this mirror to uh, draw axis mirror to then we're going to select the center of this point and we're going to um, draw the axis of the mirror at 45 degrees to the point we want to mirror so now we've mirrored this we're going to click on this we're going to click on this and we're just going to do repeat the same thing and mirror it to this other side okay so there's an issue here firstly we're going to click on tab here we are going to select this water we've created just to avoid conflict we are going to go to edit extrusion we are going to click on this tab and delete these demarcating lines separating the water and the floor the fountain top we've created so now we've done this we could now freely adjust the dimensions of this component if we go over to this tab here we could see that we we'll see those parameters we created the height and the width we could change the height to three meters we could change the i think this three meters here and we could change the width to four meters depending on whatever we want so as you can see you can see how the, it has adjusted you can see the height and we, we could also go and change the height again we could go to this let's say we increase this height to six meters and we're going to click ok so as you can see if you go to 3d view we could see the fountain has adjusted accordingly so now we are going to save this family so we're going to go and save it let's save it as fountain then i'm just going to click on save to save this family all right so now we want to test it we are going to click on and open a project we're just going to open a project in revit and we're going to bring it into the project and place it and see how versatile it can be all right so now the project is open we're going to go to the natural ground level okay then we're going to go back to the 3d of, of the family we created we're now going to click on load into project so now we've loaded a family into this project and we're just going to place it here so as you can see now i've placed it if i click on this family now and i click on edit type i could change the height to let's say 2.5 meters and i can change the width to 2.5 meters as well depending on what i want to do i'm going to click on apply and i'm going to click ok so as you can see you can see how versatile this fountain is it's adjustable you could use it for different kind of projects and it's very easy to create so if this video was helpful make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this because we do this on a weekly basis also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos thank you for watching and have a wonderful holiday